Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make templates for all of your little wooden blanks. This one is from the Dollar Tree. The first thing you're going to want to do is take a picture of the blank on a contrasting piece of paper. If your blank is light wood, then you want a dark piece of paper and vice versa. Then you're going to line the paper up on the grid so that it matches the um, one inch lines and it's nice and square. And then you're going to position your cell phone camera directly above it and you're going to try to get it as squared up as you possibly can so that the lines on the grid line up with the side of your camera screen. You want everything squared off. After you have your picture taken, you're going to merge it onto your design mat. This one came in way too big, so I'm going to scale it down. And I am going to flip it around because my brain does not work sideways for some reason. After your picture is on the mat the way you want it, we need to work on adjusting the size so that we know it's the right scale. I have five inches on my grid and I need to scale that down so it matches up to five inches on my design mat. And you can see I'm just trying to line up the two end lines up of the two grids. When you have everything lined up, then we're going to go over and start adjusting the brightness of the image. The first thing I did was I inverted it so that the image itself that I want to trace was black and the background was a lighter color. After that, I start playing around with the brightness, the contrast, and the saturation. The end goal is to have as much contrast between image that you want to trace and the background. When everything is good, hit apply, and then we're going to trace. Select your trace panel, draw out your trace box, adjust the threshold, Go ahead and click on trace and move the original image away. Now I double clicked on that to pull up the editing points and you can see that there are a couple extra bits and pieces that we do not need. So I've released the compound path. I'm going to select the circle and the outline of the actual carrot. I'm going to right click and create a compound path and I am going to select the extra bits that I don't need with a bounding box and delete those. Now let's double click on our image again. We're going to hit the simplify. And then we are going to zoom in and take a closer look to make sure everything looks okay. We don't need this little bit here. So I'm going to delete these editing points. Scroll up and take a look. Now the circle at top looks a little bit wonky. I'm just going to adjust that. And I think everything is okay from there. The next thing I'm going to do is make an internal offset so that the wood shows a little bit around the edges. Move the original one away. We're going to be working with the internal offset. I've made two copies, so I have three in total. Let's make this one orange. We'll turn these two green. These are going to be the tops. First thing I'm gonna do is slice the top off of this one. We can get rid of the bottom piece. We don't need that. Let's flip this vertically. 
release the compound path and get rid of the little circle. We don't need that. I'm going to change this color so we can see it better. Now I'm going to scale it down so that it fits right in that little opening. Zoom in so we can see better. Get it adjusted. We're going to move that off to the side for just a second. And we are going to slice the top off of this one. Let's delete that. Now we're going to line up the two pieces. I'm going to select both of them and weld. Double click to bring up the editing points, simplify, and zoom in to see if all of the edges look okay. Let's bring that to the front. Place it on top and I'm just going to go ahead and add a name real quick. Type it out, fill it with color, choose the font. Let's weld. Now I just need to rotate it and scale it to the size that I want it. After that, you can separate all of the pieces into corners of the mat and cut them all at one time.